What's good? What's good? Welcome to Epic Entertainment Critics. I'm Antoine. And I'm still James. And we are going to do an epic review on uh, Book of Boba Fett. The Book of Boba Fett, episode three. And two. Two and three. Yeah. We didn't get two in. Right. So we're going to talk about two. And somebody's like, uh, yeah, the Book of Boba Fett, man. I'm about to close that book, man. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> hey, third, the third, mm. nobody feeling that third episode, man. man. But before we talk about that third episode, let's get into that second episode. Right, right. Second episode, which was actually pretty decent. Um, to me, um, it was expanding on what happened to Boba Fett with the mm-hmm. Sand People. Because what's going on in the present, because they're doing like um, half present, half in the past yeah. of mm-hmm. what led him to where he at. And the stuff that's going on in the present is just not that it's, interesting. It's, it's trash. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, in the past, he's having his dances with wolves moment. Uh, I was going to get to that. Damn, you messed up my joke. Uh, my bad. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> but no, no. Um, but, yeah, yeah. So he's with the sand people. I do like, though, they humanizing the sand people because yeah. we learn a lot about them. Yeah. More than we ever learned about them. Because, like, I, I feel like it would have been really easy, like, if you just, like, watch the prequels to be like, man. Well, they, they, they touched on it in part four, and yeah. then you sort of, pre- they didn't do nothing with them in, oh, they did. I would say because I'm in the prequels, they just showed them shooting at, the, at yeah. them in the pie races. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and then uh, they did have them, um, Doing stuff like uh, kidnapping people or whatever, <laughs> yeah. but they addressed that. Yeah, um, the name, and which is I like that too. Um, they were saying that uh, some tribes was uh, 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 just stealing and, and, and stealing and killing anybody they come with, but everybody don't do that. Right, but they come at all us because they don't know the good from the bad or whatever. Yeah, which. Uh, most my a lot of minorities have to deal with <laughs> just uh, just oh. two bad ones, and, like, and now you say and, all of them bad. And let's not forget, <laughs> they're native to that planet. Y'all yeah. ain't. <laughs> I say y'all. I mean us. <laughs> <laughs> but no, uh, yeah, yeah. So yeah, all that stuff was interesting, and they basically they do basically when um, somebody end up. It was a dance of the wolves because I was like they they do when somebody uh, end up with the natives, and then they start. They always got to get a fever dream or, or uh, some kind of hallucination. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then, like, I love <laughs> before they was like, okay, you pass all the tests and you must go and whatever. But first, <laughs> we must dance. <laughs> <laughs> so you messed up my joke. <laughs> oh, I just got the clip on that. Oh, God. They danced. <laughs> They did it. Basically, they, did, they basically, basically just kind of basing them off Native Americans, pretty much, ain't they? Uh, Native Americans or any other tribal people, really. right? Uh, Maori or dance, what have the you. dance around the fire. Yeah. <laughs> it killed me how he knew the dance. Like he didn't just like, damn, what you doing? Well, let me try that. No, I mean, he he knew. To be fair, we don't know. Maybe what, they be practicing. To be fair, we don't know what that lizard did while it was up his nose. Uh, man. <laughs> <laughs> She's about to dance. Like uh, that was a, a, a they it, was in look, sync. To be fair, it walked his ass to the middle of the tree to grab a branch off, off to the middle of the desert to grab a tr- branch off a tree and walk back. So I I think it taught him some steps along the way. I guess. Also though, uh, they got the um, scenes where he take the bikes from the bikers. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> and that was Tashi Station. A lot of people don't know. Yeah. That exists. That was a, a deleted scene in the original. Yeah. Where Luke. Luke said he wanted to go there. Mm-hmm. He's like, I want to go to Tashi Station and get some power converters or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that was Tashi Station, whatever. Mm-hmm. I guess it was just a bar. It was, so it was something they, they had in the original that they... A little outpost. Type right, thing. So, uh, which was cool. And anyway, they took the bikes so they can uh, uh, rob this train. How do you like that train scene? That was a nice train <laughs> heist. Um, it's always weird when you see a train heist and like, a futuristic setting. Yeah. Uh, I think, like, Firefly did one. You know, yeah, like, yeah. You, you catch them every now and again. But it's, like, it's always cool how they manage to keep it grounded. Yeah. Because, like, it is still, like, a space-age train, but it's still a train. Right. It's basically just floating. Yeah. But it's a train. <laughs> and so it's, like, you got them fighting their way up to up to the front of the train. Right. You know. So, yeah, that was a cool sequence, man. That's why episode two was actually pretty good. Yeah. So I was, like... Okay, this show is moving up because that first one wasn't that exciting, so it was like the second was it was longer, yeah. and I was like, okay. So now the moment y'all been thinking about, 
episode three. What is the big deal about episode three? Well, so this one dude showed up and just told somebody, told Boba Fett what everybody been thinking. Well, sir, nobody respects you. <laughs> <laughs> and honestly, uh, why should they? He like, ain't did nothing. Because, like, for as much as I like the idea of Boba Fett came with, is like, I don't want to rule with fear. I want to rule with respect. Okay. You got to earn that you first. You got to earn it. Like, all you did was you walked in and you sat in a chair, and now you're like, how come no one respects me? <laughs> you ain't done nothing. I want to rule with respect. Bro, I mean, listen. Look, <laughs> you, you teach them the fear, and then you let them know that you ain't crazy, and then the respect will come out of that. Dude, people respect, especially... When you do something, like you gotta come in and do something. You yeah. ain't did nothing. You ain't did nothing. You just came in and sat down. Like you a crime lord, bro. You gotta show some power. And you ain't shown he nothing. He did nothing, man. And then he's like, then when he when he got every time he get attacked, he gotta go back to the back to tank. Yeah. And it's like, man, you ain't every time. It's like <laughs> dudes who should have been nothing to you. No. Get me back to my back <laughs> to tank. Yeah. Man. And uh so okay. So he basically Recruit these teenagers and everybody. This everybody been talking about this, bro. The Yo teenagers with attitudes. <laughs> the teenagers with attitudes. <laughs> <laughs> and look, they got uh, uh, enhancements or body parts from some, some droids. Yeah. When I heard that, I was like, "Oh, that sounds kind of cool." And then you saw it. Man, <laughs> 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 get this shit out of here, man! It looked like they took pieces off a toy mm-hmm. and just put it on. Like no man no, I thought they were a little like the Reavers from um, on Logan. Remember how yeah. they was kind of you ain't that lucky. <laughs> you ain't that lucky. And, and the worst thing about it is like there's this mismatch between the quality of the parts and man, it's like some erector set shit. Like because it's like you got like the one chick she got this arm and I'm like I swear to you that arm don't look like it even came off a droid. <laughs> no, like that arm looked like some some fifty droids wouldn't be caught dead wearing that crap. Yeah, <laughs> it's like I'm just sitting there like bruh. I mean, they got okay. This they, I don't know if they cut their budget in half or something, <laughs> but that was some of the cheapest they, effects. They, they blew their budget on the speeders. Oh man, and let's talk about those speeders. <laughs> you know what? Let's not talk about it. Let me show you. <laughs> <laughs> I got a clip. <laughs> uh, uh, wow, let's has look. to be seen to be believed, folks. Look at these goddamn bikes. <laughs> Color coordinated. Oh God! Look at those bikes. Uh, what are those? Wait, hold up. How many? How many rearview mirrors are on those? What hold the- on. Watch this. Splice that in there. Just yeah. Uh, that, <laughs> that man's laugh is famous. I don't even know who he is. Okay. I've seen him all over the internet. Oh, okay. uh, <laughs> I, got, I got an emo to that dude. Right <laughs> um, but yeah, it's like when you look at these dudes, like they've got this sort of like Baroque uh, fashion sense. Of course, old girl with the uh, erector set arm. She just dresses like she live on Tatooine. Um, Whack. I'm looking like, dude, what, what? Hey, look, homie's cybernetic These eyes. These look like. Homie with the uh, eye. You know what that looked like to me is, uh, what did they call that? The spy vision back in the day? Prop, yeah. <laughs> like, it don't, <laughs> oh, man. It don't, look, it looks like a toy. Yeah. If that. Yeah. If that. Uh, with their hover rounds. Yeah, no, it's, <laughs> yeah, oh. and, um, and so, People were talking about this speeder chase. He said, it looked like they was going 10 miles per hour. What speeder yeah. chase is he talking about? <laughs> so, of course, everybody been talking stuff. They said they they, they are the same color as the Power Rangers. Uh, so, of course, they had to add a little. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, team. <laughs> it's too well. Oh, God. <laughs> this, this looks like a Power Rangers team. <laughs> Oh my god. That's the perfect laugh of the scene too. Oh my god. Oh. I don't even know what to do, 
was saying. I don't know what he was saying, but this shit was funny as hell. Oh, God. Well, like, this is. Who? That shit got my stomach hurt. And then they made it. When I was watching it. When I was watching it, it was like the first time I saw them. Like when he, when he, like because I love like it, when you watch the episode when Boba Fett goes into the uh, club or bar or whatever that they hang at, he stops, takes a look at the at the speed at their speeders, hmm, and then walks in, and it's like <laughs> what the fuck is those? And like, I'm just like, please don't let these belong to the dudes he's going to talk to. Dude, look, if they would have used the bikes from the other episode, yeah. those look cool. Those was they were awesome. These mother- mm-hmm. Or use the bikes from um, Empire Strike Back. Those, uh, you know, not Empire Strike Back. The uh, Return of Jedi. Yeah. And the, you know, when they was in the forest. Yeah. Uh, what yeah. Was that? What's that called? Indoor. Yeah. That, that's indoor, right? Indoor. Yeah. Yeah. The, those speeders. Yeah. Use the, use those. Would have been perfect. It, that was in 1983, was and like, the fact the the mate didn't look like they was going fast was dope. Cause like, this right here, these they going look like they going ten miles per hour. Look like you could run faster than they was going on those speeders. Like, uh, I, I forget what they called it. There was a bit of a uh, societal thing going on in Britain back in the seventies. I want to say it is where it's like you had these bikers going up against these uh, folks riding scooters. They called them mods. <laughs> these these look like those mods. Like they, they had these like s- put way too much money into some regular ass scooters. Yeah, they look like mopeds. On. Yeah, everybody yeah. else got motorcycles and they got mopeds. Yeah, and they're like, yeah, man, like, that's what you. When somebody in the motorcycle would be like, what the? And just kick their ass and they be no, like, you know what? <laughs> I look at I look at these dudes and I'm reminded of like the dude from high school is like, yeah, you like my bike? Dude, that's a scooter. <laughs> nah, this is my bike. Pretty bro. sweet though. <laughs> you check my rims? Pretty sick. Man, oh, look, dude. Man. <laughs> they I feel they ba- took a major step back with this oh, episode. Man. I feel so <laughs> bad for um Ming Na Wen's character. I keep forgetting her name. Um, um, but she, you know what? I, I I liked her at first. I'm starting to not like her because like, she ain't why? doing nothing. Like, I'm looking at her and like, <laughs> okay, shouldn't you be in charge? Like she ain't doing it, and, and and so all she does, all she does every episode is take that knife out the back of her rifle and throw it at somebody. Yeah, and or she got that rifle, she barely shoot it. Yeah, I was like, man. So let's talk about that. Yeah. So Boba is in his back to tank as usual. He should be. <laughs> He should be fit as a fiddle. Yeah. That boy in that back to tank constantly. Like he sleeps in the mug. He sleeps yeah. in the back to tank. And out of nowhere, my <laughs> dude, what's his name? I don't remember. I probably couldn't pronounce it anyway. Uh it started with a K, but yeah. the, the black Wookiee. Yeah. The big seven foot black Wookiee. Somehow look, look like he can discard or something. Somehow sneaked in where yeah. nobody seen him get in, got in his private room. And yanked him Stand up. Stand right over his bed. Now, that's a scary sight. I do man, not want to wake man, up look, to that. <laughs> I'd be scared. You get so yanked far. out of your bed by that mug? <laughs> look, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm like, man, make it quick, bro. <laughs> that's a scary sight. You I, wake up. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> like, please. I hope he wants to kill me. God, I hope he wants to get so me. So, right. <laughs> right. And, and he, beat, he beat his ass. Yeah. I give to him. He, he beat the crap Threw out him of him. against every surface in that room. And so the the power range. The two, what's the two, the two guards? He got two the two guards. pig guys. They worthless. Who, had, people call who them, have yet to stop anyone from up, getting in. People call them Bebop and Rocksteady. <laughs> 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 so okay. he got Bebop and Rocksteady. He kicked their ass. Then we got the, the power rangers. He kicked their ass. Yep. And and then uh, we got... Uh, the his um Assassin. his girlfriend basically mm-hmm. well no I guess but anyway she come out where were you <laughs> this is like your job ain't yeah. you like head of security or something yeah. it's like you got she come hella late like they they fighting and loud as hell and she come hella late with that rifle ain't shooting nothing <laughs> and it's like yeah. what's going on here so so we got what like seven people who's supposed to keep anyone from getting to him ain't no way somebody should get that close nah. Nah. Not that close. Like how do how not do his folks, big ass either. How do folks keep getting in your room, bro? <laughs> like not even and your throne room. Hold on. So when he got him in the bear hug or whatever, people say, "Man, his back should have been broken." They said, "Man, they said this dude is just the biggest chiropractor." They said he just <laughs> they said he just cracked his back and like, "Oh, that feels damn. That feels thank you, thank uh, well, look, you." <laughs> so was this, was it just a home visit? Is that what it was? I guess. 
Because if you had him in the burner that long and you that was, strong, was, was you should have broke his back. Was he just whooping him because he made him late for an appointment? Whatever. Like, yeah, so they finally got, they finally luckily got out of that. And it's like, he didn't question him like, oh, get him in a back to tank. Hell no, 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 no. You don't get no back to tank because I'm, I'm, I'm at man, everybody. I'm going off on their ass. Yeah. I'm in, I'm in my draws. I'm in my draws, just going <laughs> off. Still, everybody, still, I'm hollering still at. Still wet. <laughs> yeah. Still wet from the I got, back. I got tank. back to juice on me. <laughs> I'm in my draws, and I'm going got some, off. Hey, look, that's some rookie fur <laughs> stuck in my teeth. <laughs> yeah, no. I'm going off. All y'all fired. Man, how the hell <laughs> this dude get this close? This close. The, his big ass, <laughs> yeah. especially. In in my back to tank, yeah, what the hell? What why did my pan y'all? You, you fired. He had you to walk fired the and you fired. Bit. He had to walk through the whole <laughs> complex to get to me. Uh, None of y'all saw shit. And Everybody they fired. got there. They <laughs> got there hella late. He almost killed them before they <laughs> got there. Like, what are y'all doing right now? <laughs> anyway, so um, though we 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 established that yeah, Boba yeah. is kind of weak. Uh, and he's being weaker by the episode. I don't know Man. what they're doing. Okay, but how do you like uh, your boy Machete? Oh, goodness. You know Danny Trejo was going to be there since Robert Rodriguez directed yeah, this. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people said they liked the Rancor scene. I really didn't. Me neither. I, I was like, why are we, why are we, we don't need that. Like, also, I it's don't. It's like they had that empty pit, so yeah. got to have a Rancor in there. But, like, also. <laughs> I don't need the bonding with the rancor nonsense. You didn't like that? Somebody's like, it was like both they got a new puppy. Yeah. <laughs> and it's, and I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. You know he's going to ride them later. Yeah. Basically, I mean, they yeah. setting that up. Yeah. <laughs> what is this show, bro? Like, I don't know. I thought I was getting a a, a real. And like, you know what? It's making Mandalorian look way, it's making Mandalorian look better every like, episode. I thought I was getting a crime focused. You know, right? Action they made, drama, but you know what? Disney Fett. Plus. Disney Plus. As we can see, yeah. like we was talking about with Marvel shows, they are pushing in a different direction. So, or oh, oh, watch. Oh, I thought I, I didn't have a full clip, but they showed a lot of stuff, and I bet you they got those bikes. Like, I bet you those bikes look so lame like that, so they can sell them to kids. Yeah. Oh yeah. And Probably. they got the little droid that um um or the pit droids that look the drum. Yeah. Ding, they had that. They have it seems like they trying to cater to look kids more, and it's like, why did you set up Gotta a crime drama, and you putting kids stuff in there? That's yeah. that's stupid. And it's like, cause I look at it, and and the thing, the worst thing about it is, if you look at Star Wars, they never had to justify anything they did to sell toys. It was in the movie, so it's a toy. Yeah. Okay. Right. Like there, there are ships that were in like Episode Five for like a hot second. That have like five hundred dollar models being sold. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you don't have to justify a goddamn thing in Star Wars <laughs> to sell merchandise. Boba Fett was was barely even in the first. I know, know he's one of the top selling toys. He's one of the top selling toys. <laughs> the, uh, the the IOUs people got. Okay. I want to know how many of these things they're gonna sell. I hope they don't sell a goddamn. <laughs> thing. Uh, <laughs> I'm salty as hell over these these goddamn bikes. Oh my god. Look at them things. I mean, maybe they might be fun like for like. Also, at what point do those ever? Would you ever see those on Tatooine? <laughs> like, because like you know what? It's like whenever I see you know a mo- somebody riding like a Lamborghini in Michigan, right? <laughs> it's like this is not the place for this car. Yeah, it's so out of place. Everything all dirty and yeah. Every, look, all the colors are muted, right? All colors there are like brown, dark, yep, rust. Where the hell are these bright yeah, candy uh, painted? Bright, <laughs> <laughs> where are these uh, uh, red, blue, green, and yellow things coming from? Yeah. And if you don't want nobody to mess with your stuff, don't paint it the loudest color in the yeah. in the damn galaxy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's like none of the none of this is okay. Um, yeah, God, this this man. wasn't a win. Like this, win. like episode two had me had me extending my goodwill. Episode three yanked it right out. <laughs> man, let's see. I wonder can they make up for this in episode four? Man, 
Like, and not only that, they steady, they still haven't given given me uh, a, a a scene in the present that's worth watching an episode for. All of the good episode, all the good scenes are still in the past. Mm, right. Exactly. You know. Uh, yeah. So it's not going nowhere either. It feel like I'm like, like, what? Okay, yeah, we're not going nowhere. No. Dude, say he he just shot some dude. Like I'm taking over, and it's just like, okay, now what? Mm, we just kind of like chill. And what is the conflict? You know, they started a conflict with the huts. Yeah. Um. Then they was like, that went nowhere. Yeah, it went nowhere. And then they was like, oh, we about to go by. They sold that with an ass whooping from a giant Wookie. <laughs> um. Yeah. So anyway, and um, I guess uh, the folks he, uh, I guess uh, he beefed with back when he was with the Raiders are now the the, the villains now, right? The uh, oh, the fish people, or whatever. Yeah, 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 I guess. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, um, so yeah, episode three was not good. Uh, we're gonna um, we're gonna wrap up, man. We're gonna ride out to that laugh, man. <laughs> 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 I don't even know what he's saying, but yes. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, man, if anybody speak, uh, I don't know. know his language or he, I thought he was that, speaking English. He was nah, just I so think that's incoherent. another language. That's either like Spanish or Brazil, like Portuguese or something. <laughs> it, look, anybody that know what what that man said when he was laughing there. Let me let us know in the comments, bro, because I am curious and I want to know if it fits. Because I swear, like, I don't know what he's saying, but the way he said it made me feel like, yeah, bro, I know, right? Oh, uh, man. Yeah, yes. All right, man, we're about to be out of here, man. Uh, thanks for anybody checking out the video. Uh, if you like our content, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit that bell icon so you get alerts anytime we post new videos or if we live stream. And if you like what you've seen here today, man, go ahead, hit that thumbs up down in the corner there. Drop a like for us and drop a comment down below. Who's your favorite Boba Ranger, man? <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is it Specs or the Red Right Hand? <laughs> All right, we out. Later, y'all.